guys, it's me, Daniela, and welcome back to Rachel Laguna's channel. Please like and comment down below and subscribe if you like this video. Please enjoy. Anyway, you guys, maybe some of you or a lot of you know this, because today we're going to be doing is organic. So, yeah. Uh, you can use any kind of paper. For me, I'm going to be using scratch paper because my mother said use scratch papers because they're they can use it because sometimes one of the scratch papers you wait throw and waste. But this one I'm not gonna throw or I will. So yeah. But you can use color papers, A4 papers, any kind of paper as long as it's this shape. This kind of shape. Now let's get started. Anyways, yeah, you're gonna need your material is papers, any kind of papers, and markers. The, I have so much things here. So, yeah, that's going to be it. But if your colors are broken, I have extra more right here. So, yeah, let's get started. Today, we're going to do is we're going to make fortune paper. So, a fortune paper is a paper that gives you fortune. Something says, like, you're a loser when you're in the, for in the future. You will marry someone very old in the future. So they're going to be bad future and good future. It means good luck or bad luck. So yeah. Sometimes I'm going to make very much bad lucks. You should be stay away from me from doing good lucks or bad lucks. But don't go away from me. I'm a good girl. Just only for games. I'm not. Yeah. Anyway, let's get started. How to make a fortune paper. So, oh yeah, you're going to need also a scissor. So let me get it. Wait for a minute. You can use small scissors, big scissors, like that. So, yeah, like these, also these scissors. As long as they can cut, it's good. Okay, let's get started. Now, you have your paper right now. Oh yeah, here's my sister. Say hi, Dustin. So let's get started. You're gonna get your piece of paper. Now fold it in a triangle. Like this. But don't touch the edge, I'll show ya. Wait for a minute. Just like these. You're gonna do like that. Anyway, is it the back way? You can do it or the front way. As long as it looks like this. Now, you're going to be cutting this part. Let me show you. Gonna fold it so you will know what to do. Here you go. This is where you're gonna cut the part. You're gonna cut this extra rectangle because we're not gonna be using that. We're gonna make a square paper. So cut like this. Just like that. See no more rectangle in the bottom. Now you're gonna be opening, and if you open it, you're gonna see a square paper, just like these. Now let's get started. You're gonna also have to fold like this. Now back to its triangle, triangle. I mean, um, what they call it? triangle? Yeah, triangle. Now you're gonna fold this corner. Yeah, you see this corner. Fold it this way, at the bottom. This here at the bottom, just like this, I'll show you. See, here is the triangle. Now we're going to also do the same thing as the other one. Just like that. Now you're going to be opening and seeing like this. It's almost like a gift paper. Now, you're going to be flipping over it like this. Now you see these two corners? You need to fold it the same thing into the middle. Just like this. Now, we're going to do again the same thing all over again. Only one, two times. Now, we're going to again do this like a diamond. Try to fold like this. Fold like this. See here? I open. Put this corner to this corner. Now, you're going to be doing the same thing. Do like this, like a triangle. Fold the corner again. Fold this corner to the bottom here. And do the same thing as the back.